Alrighty, so we just learned about how the rules really for how to build some Lua structures. So now what we want to do is practice some of those rules. Remember, we're going to count valence electrons, pick our central atom, put atoms around it, put electrons around those atoms, and then finish up and make sure everybody's happy. So we did an example with CO2, we did an example with ammonia, so now let's do another example. Let's take, for example, maybe water, H. 2O. We all love water. It's good to drink. So what is it made up of? Right? Two hydrogens, one oxygen. The first thing we do is we count our valence electrons. We get 2 times 1, 1 valence electron per hydrogen, plus 6 for oxygen. So we have an 8 valence electrons here. Okay, so what do we do next? We pick our central atom. Hydrogen or oxygen, oxygen is going to make two bonds because it's only got six valence electrons, and so it's going to be our better choice for the central atom. And so we do that, and then we put our hydrogen atoms around it with single bonds because we know there's going to be single bonds because otherwise, well, if there's no bonds, then it's not really a molecule, is it? Okay, so what did we do? We used two, four electrons, right? We used two electrons here, and we used two electrons here to make our bonds, and so we had eight valence electrons, but we used four, and so we have four electrons left. Now those four electrons left, where do we put them? Generally, we put them on the outer atoms first, and in our case, the outer atom would be the hydrogen atoms. But if you look, the hydrogen's always happy, already happy. He has two valence electrons, he only needs two valence electrons to look like helium. So we can't put it on the outer electron or the outer atoms, so we're going to put it then on the inner atoms. And we're going to put two, four electrons on the inner atom, and now we have zero electrons left. So what do we do after that? We do our happiness check. Remember, we want to look to make sure everybody's got an octet or a duet, and we want to make sure that we've got the right number of valence electrons. So if we look there, uh, hydrogen on the left, he has got two valence electrons. Those are these guys here. And so he's fine. He sees two electrons. The hydrogen on the right looks the same. Oxygen, if we look at him, he sees two, four, six, eight electrons. And so he is happy. And if we count, we have two, four, six, eight also, the green ones, total electrons. So everybody's happy. And we have the right number of valence electrons. We followed the rules in order. We got this right. And that's what water actually looks like in the world. Oxygen is a central atom, two hydrogens hanging off the side. All righty, let's do another one. Let's do, I don't know, I'm just going to pick something randomly. We're going to do silicon with some hydrogens. SiH4. Count valence electrons. Four for silicon, four times one for hydrogen, and so we've got eight valence electrons. Now, we've been getting eight a lot, but it's just chance at this point. Who's going to be a central atom? Silicon's got to be it. He makes four bonds because he's got four valence electrons versus hydrogen only doing one. Then we're going to make single bonds to all of our other atoms. And we just kind of put them around. Doesn't really matter where we put them, usually on the edges, not on the sides or corners. And what did we do? We used eight valence electrons. We had eight valence electrons. Why did we use eight? Because we got two, four, six, eight that we used. And so when we use those eight valence electrons, oh wait, we have none left. And if we have none left, that means we're down to happiness check already. Happiness check, hydrogens are all happy, they see two. Silicon's happy, he sees two, four, six, eight, if you go around the circle again, just like we just did. And so we're done. And that's what silicon with four hydrogens looks like in the real world, silicon, four hydrogens around it. All righty, let's do something perhaps a little more complicated. Let's do C, okay, we've got my colors, C, H2O. And you're like, carbon with water? No, just because you see H2O doesn't mean it's necessarily water, it just means this molecule has a carbon, two hydrogens, and an oxygen. Vance electron counting first, four plus two times one plus six is equal to 12 valence electrons. So we've got the 12 valence electrons there. Then what are we going to do? Central atom, carbon, four valence electrons, going to make four bonds in order to be happy. Hydrogen, one valence electron, going to make one bond to be happy. Oxygen, six valence electrons. I don't know how to do that on my fingers very easily. Two bonds to be happy. 
who's going to do the most? Carbon. So he's going to be our central atom. And then we're going to put everybody else around there. And again, it doesn't really matter where you put them. But there we go. How many electrons did I use? I used six, which means I have six left. And when I have six left, where am I going to put them first? Around the outside. Let me do that in a different color for you. Um, can't put any on hydrogen. Hydrogen's already happy. So I'm going to put two, four, six on oxygen. We're going, great, we've used all of our electrons. There's none left. We've used all 12. Are we happy? Well, certainly hydrogen's happy. He sees his two valence electrons here. Da ding He's happy. Oxygen, what is he? Is he happy? He is, right? He's got two, four, six, eight valence electrons that he sees. But what about poor little carbon there? He only sees two, four, and six. He's not happy. What's our next step? We're going to take electrons from the outer atom, and we're going to move them over to make double bond. Okay, so let me scoot this guy up a little bit, and what do we end up with? Something that looks like this. So now we've got a double bond, two bonds, four electrons shared between that carbon and that oxygen. Are we happy now? I think we are. Oxygen, if you look around, sees, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Hydrogen sees two. Carbon sees two, four, six, eight. Do we have the right number of valence electrons? Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12. Cool. Right number of ants electrons. Everybody's happy. We did the rules in order. We can't be wrong. And that's actually what that molecule looks like. Okay, let's do one more. And we will go ahead and do, I don't know, maybe phosphorus trichloride. PCl3. Again, valence electron counting is the first thing we need to do. We got five for phosphorus, three chlorines at seven apiece. That's 21 plus five is 26 valence electrons. Who's going to be our middle? Phosphorus has five valence electrons. He's going to make three bonds to be happy. Three bonds to be happy. My, my face is backwards on my video, so it's kind of funny. Um, <coughs> and chlorine, he's got seven valence electrons. He's going to make one bond to be happy. Phosphorus is definitely our better central atom. Now, again, the real rule is the most electronegative, but this works as well. We make single bonds to everybody else. C, Cl, Cl. Just for something different, I'm going to put that other Cl on the bottom. Now, when I add electrons around chlorine, I always like to use a different color because that L on chlorine looks an awful lot like a pair of electrons. And so how many did I use? Well, I had 26. I used six to make these bonds, right? Two, four, and six. So I used six. And so I have 20 electrons remaining. I'm going to start putting around the chlorines. Two, four, six. I'm going to stop there because he's happy. He sees two, four, six, a blue. And he sees that eight total with the orange. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Everybody's full. I can't put anything more on the outside. So what do I have to do? I now have to put them on the inside. And there's our 20 right there. OK, happiness check. Chlorines, they're all happy. They all see four pairs, a total of eight. Phosphorus, happy. Do we have the right number of electrons? Well, let's start counting them. This one takes a little longer. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. And yes, we have the right number of valence electrons. So we're good. That's great. We're happy. So we've made phosphorus trichloride. So that's how we make those molecules. Again, you have to do those rules in order. Look back and look at those rules about how we do it. But we kind of followed them here. And the next thing, we'll talk about some of the properties of these molecules.